Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be putting some custom stuff on my new Stray Dog single stack, single column. So if you've been paying attention on Instagram, basically what I did is I am kind of turning my full rack into a sort of hybrid style half rack. Um, I've always wanted to have the ability to have a single cable column, um, but unfortunately I can't afford like a standalone unit like the Prime, which has that built-in one-to-one and two-to-one that uh, Basement Brandon just covered in one of his videos. And so I started shopping around and that's where I fell onto the Stray Dog ATR units. Now the ATR units are basically just modular units like this. I'll be doing a full up review later on. Um, but one of the things I wanted to do was basically have mine kind of set itself apart. And Plate Snacks is an awesome company to go to if you want to make customization on the relatively cheap. So I went back and forth with uh, plate snacks for a while and a very responsive very awesome process basically what I wanted was like a camouflage style backing with the Kurt Locker logo I do have one for each side of the single cable column and I'm just going to be applying those today kind of showing you how I go about applying those so the first step to this is basically going to be removed to remove any like surface dust that might be on the stack so basically we're putting a vinyl sticker over this so any imperfections or any dust that's actually on the stack is going to be a problem now my garage gym is also like a fully functioning wood shop um so wood dust is pretty much everywhere so basically i've waited until a point where the wood dust isn't swirling around either from me trying to clean it up or from me going over there and cutting out some wood uh, so now that it's all settled out, what I'm gonna do is remove this pin and then using some rubbing alcohol and then something that doesn't produce lint. So I'm gonna use this microfiber cloth. Basically, I'm just gonna give it a wipe down on the side that I'm gonna be working on. And this wipe down is gonna remove um, any of the light finger oils from me uh, putting it together as well as any dust that might have been on it. It's just also important to note that after you do this step, just take a quick second and go and look at it and make sure that you got all the dust. Um, otherwise, what you're gonna end up with is like little bubbles in the actual finished product. And although you might not see it from a distance, it's one of those things you'll know it's there. And so you'll be really upset that you didn't do this step. So now that I've got all the dust off, I am satisfied with my level of non-dustiness. Um, I got both sides of this cable stack and now the top hole of the cable stack also comes with this very convenient pinhole for storing the pin if you're just using the 10 because there's a rivet inside this one. Um, so when you order your customization, you need to specify that so that the two holes are available in that top 10 pound stack. Plate Snacks does a really good job cutting so that it's really easy to remove. So basically remove that off and being super duper careful because all of this is gonna line up, go ahead and place it. And then what I like to do, it's, it's very loosely placed on there, is anchor it at one side and then just work it towards the other. But basically by doing that, you're uh, removing any of that air that's behind it. Now there are some other techniques as well, like you can spray this with rubbing alcohol and then use like a squeegee tool. Um, I have found personally that that's a little bit unnecessary um, for these particular uh, pieces, but if that's what you like to do, then go ahead and do it. It works just fine. Um, the vinyl will still adhere to the cable stack as long as you do it properly. All right, so now the plate snacks are on. I think it looks really good. Um, there's a couple that I'm a little bit dissatisfied with. We'll call it like a eight out of 10 on installation, but overall, really happy with how that went. It's really easy to do. It takes a little bit of time just because you gotta, you know, line it up. Um, but as long as you're just methodical about it, uh, you'll be fine. So things I like about the Stray Dog single stack are one, the somewhat approachable price, especially when you consider that it is uh, American made. Now mind you, the, the actual selectorized plates are made in China, um, but you're pretty hard pressed to find selectorized plates made in USA. There's really just not that big of a market for it. So it doesn't really exist. And the price obviously would go up significantly. But outside of that, everything else on this unit is maybe not the pulleys, uh, made in USA. So what I loved about it too, is it comes with these slotted uh, cross members on the top and on the bottom from Stray Dog. And what that does is it easily adapts to 
uh, most brands of rack. Now I am on a surplus strength arc series rack, which comes with its own little nuances. For instance, all the nuts on this are welded. Um, so there was some parts. So for instance, there's normally a bolt that comes in through the bottom here that goes into my racks rear lower cross member. And that's what holds it together coming this way. However, uh, surplus strength also thought ahead and overbuilt the living hell out of everything on this rack. So there's actually two one inch bolts coming in uh, 90 degrees offset from one each other. So although I'm not able to use this bolt anymore because I wanted the cable column here on the side of the rack, the other bolt is holding it in place. So it is still safe. Uh, similar thing for up top, except for up top, essentially it was just the header and I was able to use the existing hole from surplus strength and uh, still secure the header and the uh, ATR unit to the side of the rack. So again, that's one of the things I love about Stray Dog ATRs is that they are super versatile. I feel like nobody really talks about them because uh, companies like Rep Fitness are doing amazing work with like their Adonis, all of their different cable attachments. Uh, but if Made in America is important to you, or if you want the increased availability of color options, uh, or if you like Stray Dog construction, um, I would say that this is definitely a really good thing to look at. Now real quick on the actual ATR itself. So unlike other single stacks, so like consider like the prime single stack, uh, this is just a two to one ratio. You can use it for lat pull downs if you were to take like a safety arm, install here towards the bottom of the upright, put a seat on it. You could, if you went low enough, get a full range of motion as long as you're not super tall. Um, but that's not why I bought this. So I still have my surplus strength UPS and that's still my primary lat pull down because it is that one to one in a essentially an unlimited weight capacity. It's only limited by what I can physically load onto the pin, which is something I like. Um, so this was just for other movements where I maybe wanted to adjust the anchor point up and down. And at a 300 pound stack, I'm able to get 150 pounds of felt resistance. It's nice and smooth operation, but I'm gonna leave the rest of that for a later review of the actual single stack from Stray Dog Strength. So that's been it for this video. Again, appreciate you guys sticking around to watch me apply some vinyl stickers to my single stack. I hope you guys like my initial impressions of the actual single stack from Stray Dog. And if you got any comments, leave them down below. I'd love to have a conversation about it. If not, I'll catch you next time. And remember, always keep your home gym better, awesome, and of course, badass.